Winston and Clementine Churchill shared a love of theatre and of Shakespeare. And of course, they knew all of the leading actors and actresses of their day. Everyone from Charlie Chaplin to Richard Burton and Vivian Lee and Laurence Olivier. And their correspondence with those individuals survive in the archive here. And it's quite clear that Shakespeare was playing a major role in the daily life of the Churchill family. In 1922, Clementine writes to Winston from a beach holiday with their two eldest children, Diana and Randolph, describing how they're reading the plays aloud. I'm reading Shakespeare to Diana and Randolph, and they love it, which pleases but rather surprises me. And the letters that we have here in, in the Churchill Archive Centre show how Churchill is using Shakespeare all the time, not just in his great public speeches and in his books, but also in his private letters and telegrams. And the fact that he sometimes gets the quotations wrong proves that he's drawing it from memory. And of course, this is now exactly what his children were doing, because it's quite clear from the letter by Clementine that she um, is performing the plays with the children and that they are speaking them out loud, they're being expected to memorise them. We are just finishing The Merchant of Venice and are going on to Henry V. I am making them learn some speeches by heart. And of course that would have taken him right back to his earliest experience of Shakespeare, which as a, as a young boy of 13, um, he was um, entering the, the Shakespeare um, competition at, at Harrow School and having to memorise certain lines of particular plays. I think he would have been very enthusiastic about having his children embrace Shakespeare. He might have been a little bit less enthusiastic about his daughter Sarah wanting to become an actress and do this full time on stage, but of course he came to accept it and love it.